many pictures have taken place here? Weddings, baptisms, first communions, confirmations, and even recorded dances during COVID. We begin our pilgrimage in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we prepare for our journey to a new place of life and worship, let us listen to the words of Scripture. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the day of the resurrection, two of Jesus' disciples were on their way to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking about all that had happened to them. As they talked this over, Jesus came and walked beside them. But something prevented them from recognizing him. St. Pat's has been our Jerusalem, our sacred site of worship and communal gathering. We offer gratitude for this neighborhood, the Roanoke Park community, East Lake, and even I-5. <laughs> Because of our close proximity and accessibility, this church has been a destination for many from near and far. Let us continue our journey around this beloved building, imagining ourselves as friends, walking the road to Emmaus, through the parking lot, and around to the labyrinth. with them 
on their labyrinth. Listen to them and led them to a center, to an encounter with him. Jesus offered a new revelation and opened their eyes to new ways of seeing. As we walk on our own labyrinths of love, loss, and new callings, may Jesus walk with us, leading us and guiding us. May we be Christ for one another as we listen and learn from each other. We will journey now to Roanoke Park and on the way, we invite you to turn to a neighbor, share a couple sentence story of your journey of love and loss with regards to St. Pat's, just as the disciples shared with Jesus. Now we know that could be many sentences, but we'll keep it in time to get over to the park for our next station. Oh, 
have a children. Don't you get weary. Walk together, children. Don't you get weary. Walk together, children. Don't you get weary. from St. Joe's and thank you for coming. So if you're from St. Joe's, please wave. Thank you for joining in our last leg of our journey. We have been contemplating the scripture at stops on our way. So let us listen now to the conclusion of the story of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. He was with them at table. He took the bread, blessed it, and then broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And they recognized him but he had vanished from their sight. Where did he go? Did not our hearts burn within us as he spoke to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And so they set out that moment and went back to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven gathered with their companions who said, Yes, it's true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two talked about what had happened to them on the road and how they recognized him in the breaking. And they recognized him in the breaking. And they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As soon as the disciples recognized Jesus, they hurried to share the good news with their community. We at St. Pat's now journey to our new community of St. Joe's. And we bring our stories of encounter with Christ. Did not our hearts burn within us as we walked with us up the road and explained in the scriptures? Just like the disciples, we all encounter Christ in the breaking of the bread. We look forward to sharing 
the bread of Eucharist in the midst of our new St. Joe's community in a couple of weeks. We at St. Pat's are eager to hear the stories of Christ among you at St. Joe's, and we look forward to becoming Christ for one another. We have a few tokens of community we'd like to share, so please accept this bookmark a prayer card in honor of the life and times of St. Patrick Parish and our patron saint, St. Patrick. To conclude our ritual, let us pray the prayer found on the St. Patrick's breastplate, the deer's cry. I rise today to the strength of heaven, light of sun, radiance of moon, Splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of wind, depth of the sea, stability of earth, firmness of rock. I rise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's eyes to look before me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's ways to hide before me, God's shield to protect me. From all who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in a multitude, against every cruel, merciless power that may oppose my body and soul. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right. Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ to shield me, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. I rise today. Our ritual for today has ended. A pilgrim's journey, however, is always unfolding. So as we walk to St. Joe's, please accept a small token of St. Pat's hospitality with cookies. <laughs> and Eileen Murphy is so graciously brought and uh, shared with us today. Uh, as we share some of our hopes for the future and our joined communities. When we arrive at St. Joe's, we are invited to join in celebration with them as they welcome us and our new pastor, Father Chris, to this community, and I hear there will be food. <laughs> so let us go in peace and love. Thanks, Jesus. Awesome. Where are the cookies?